Well, the most common medical emergencies that occur in a dental office are fear and stress related. Over half of all the medical emergencies were fainting, syncope. And then we had things, uh, other stress related things like angina, seizures, asthmatic attacks, uh, hyperventilation, which are all stress related. Now there are other problems such as allergy, whether it's mild allergy, which is itching hives and a rash, or the more serious anaphylactic reaction, uh, the myocardial infarction known as a heart attack, cardiac arrest, which are not stress related. They can happen at any time. I have been told by a number of dentists at my lectures, after I discussed the emergency kit, Dr. Malamed, I consider myself to be a good dentist, but I would be reluctant to use any emergency drugs other than oxygen because I would, I really be uncomfortable. I, I, I'm not sure what's going on. There, and I agree, if you are not sure what's going on, other than that one drug, oxygen, you don't want to start giving drugs to a patient. But I also argue that point because you are a doctor. And as a doctor, we have a, an obligation to that person. And that person who sits in your chair voluntarily allows us to um, inject drugs into them, local anesthetics, allows us to pick up a forceps, a scalpel, and cut. You know, we're doing things that are good for a patient, but bad things can always happen. And you have to, as a doctor, you have to be prepared to handle what can happen. Stuff goes wrong. Stuff doesn't go wrong often in dentistry, but it does. You can't predict when and where a medical emergency will happen, but you can influence the outcome by being prepared, up-to-date, and mobile.